Hello guys, this is Mike Padua and we're back again to our latest uh, weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, June 27, 29, 2024, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat that we created last night. And we have a uh, weak low pressure area dubbed as 98W. And this system has uh, dissipated over Mindanao and it's no longer uh, expected to have some significant impact. But the IDCSA, which has reached Mindanao, is uh, continues to bring some rain showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon or evening. And we have here a long strand of this IDCSA beginning to organize over the Western Pacific, but there's still no sight of any LPA or tropical cyclone that is expected to form within the next five days but we are on the lookout throughout the whole uh, month of july for possibility of one to four tropical cyclones forming every week so that's the uh, average uh, formation but uh, uh, likely it could be one or two since we are now into neutral conditions the effects of el nino is still ongoing until august but we have here right now over various sections of the country uh, strong easterlies bringing some thunderstorms across Luzon, Visayas, Mimaropa and the Bicol region. So watch out for lightning strikes, possibility of some flooding when we have a uh, southern downpour. Also across uh, active volcanoes like uh, uh, Kadloan, there might be some lahar. So please take all the precautions and uh, take a look at our weather updates every now and then for any new developments in the Western Pacific. Okay, and uh, here's the fast animation. Nothing uh, unusual. Here's the remnants of uh, LPA 98W passing over Palawan. So thunderstorms, rain showers will be expected across this island. And... Uh, Actually, this is just a part of the IDCSA, which is uh, uh, originating from this area all the way here up to this area. And this is mostly uh, easterlies, okay, blowing because of a high pressure cell in this vicinity. We have a high pressure area here, okay. So that's so far the uh, situation right now. The whole month of June, we don't have any tropical cyclone uh, uh, within the Philippine Air responsibility, but uh, we are on the lookout, like I said, during the month of July, as July is also the development, the start of the development of the La Nina, which is expected to peak around uh, October, November, and the effects will push through until May of next year. So we still don't know if it is going to be a strong one, a mild or a weaker La Nina. So we will uh, observe the uh, Western Pacific uh, every month. Here's the uh, zoom in satellite mission from windy.com, UMETSAT. And it looks like good weather is now prevailing across the archipelago at this time of the morning hours. But uh, in the afternoon, we expect another round of thunderstorms across uh, various parts of Luzon, including Bicol, Eastern Visayas, while over Palawan, this is the cloudiness from the remnants of the fast-moving LPA 98W, and uh, so thunderstorms will still persist over this area throughout the day. And for the uh, wind and pressure forecast, for the next three days, it, it will remain easterly for today, but tomorrow, Friday, that uh, wind system will start to wane down once again. 
uh, calm to variable winds will be expected. And here's now the remnants of LPA-98W moving northward, uh, just north or very near Panatag Show. And on Saturday, that system will be absorbed into uh, quite, uh, quite strong southerly and southwesterly winds of the uh, southwest monsoon. While over the Philippine Islands, we have another uh, area of convergence here to the east of Mindanao, but still nothing uh, to uh, be uh, worried about. And uh, Sunday, last day of June, we have some light easterlies affecting eastern Visayas. All across the archipelago will be calm to variable winds. But again, expect this afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms to prevail throughout the weekend. And for the rain forecast, here's the uh, forecast this afternoon. There will be uh, rain showers and thunderstorms once, once again across Luzon, Visayas, and also Mindanao. By Friday afternoon, same situation. Saturday afternoon, we have a slightly decreased uh, amounts of thunderstorms. And on Sunday afternoon, another round of thunderstorms will be expected. So this is a daily occurrence of afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, which is a part of the wet or rainy season of our country, since we are now entering the month of July. And uh, so far, for the rainfall accumulation forecast, it looks like uh, isolated, scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will continue to prevail all throughout the country. Those dark red are uh, the uh, heaviest of these thunderstorms. And uh, here's the wave forecast for the next three days until uh, Sunday. So we could expect uh, wave heights here of... Uh, up to one meter but today it's uh, up to two meters okay slightly moderate but for the next three days until the, the weekend it will be just around one meter and safe for fishing and sea travel particularly it will be much better over the inland waters of the philippine islands where calm to up to 0.3 meter expected and uh, here over the west philippine sea it's also below one meter in wave heights for the next three days. And before we leave you, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center issued uh, yesterday. Uh, this is for the next two to three weeks. For week two, with a 50-50 chance, we have a... Uh, uh, this is for July 3, okay, to July 9. The Philippine Islands and the Philippine Sea will have a 20% uh, or more probability of a tropical cyclone formation and uh, more than 60% of above average rainfall because of these thunderstorms, easterlies into tropical convergence zone and the possibility of a uh, southwest monsoon if a uh, tropical cyclone form. But this is not yet sure. Particularly over the week uh, or the third week, valid July 10 to July 16, the probability of a tropical cyclone formation over the Philippine Sea has increased from 20 to 40 percent probability, while the rest of the archipelago will have a uh, 50 to more than 65 percent of above average rainfall because of these weather disturbances that I mentioned. And so far, that's the latest for today, Thursday, and we'll return this weekend for another update here at. Uh, Mr. Typhoon TV and at our Facebook page, Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua or www.mrtyphoon.com. So thank you so much and uh, God bless to all.